way to put my culebra in your reina. The dice hit the floor to make the cash stack up. You grind poor, I show the gap to make your fags back up. Another day, another dollar made. The Glock with the hollow spray. Tomorrow we gonna find you laying in the hollow grave. Yo, ando con mano sucia because this game got me running with Flaco. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the second episode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Athena Strauss. So what is there to say about Athena? Well, she's a real joy to play as. Her mobility and physics are superb this time around, and she's lost a lot of that floatiness that she used to have in previous entries in the series. But if you're like me, you're in it for the combos, and holy shit, she delivers. King of Fighters 13 Athena is the most versatile combo machine I've ever seen. Almost everything can combo with everything, and her options are limitless. And best of all, some of her best and flashiest combos are not location specific, meaning you don't have to have your opponent with his back against the wall to do them. They work anywhere. Her teleport and X teleport are definitely the stars of the show here. Gone are some moves like the fake teleport, air psycho sword, air teleport, phoenix fang arrow, and the triangle jump. But that's fine, she would be way too overpowered with all those options at her disposal. Like Kula, her trials on the hard side. For beginners, I would recommend characters like Yori, Mai, or Ryo to begin with. But she's manageable as well. They all are. You just need to be willing to put the work in. For the most part, I feel like the in-game trials do a good job at giving you a basic understanding of specific characters and what they can do. But Athena's trials barely scratch the surface. So I'm going to have a custom combo tutorial out very soon and show you all the weapons in her arsenal. As always, you can click here to go to a specific trial you might be having problems with. Also, although this is a beginner's guide, this is not fighting games 101. I'm gonna try to keep the technical jargon to a minimum and explain things in great detail, but before attempting these, you should have a basic understanding of 2D fighting game mechanics and terminology. I will use terms such as quarter circle backwards, dragon punch, buffering, X, links, cancels, etc. So you need to know what these are in order to understand these tutorials. Also, King of Fighters 13 has a tutorial mode you should check out. It explains all the basics, so if you're new to KOF or fighting games in general, that's the place to go. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's get it started. Alright, here we go. Trial number one. Very basic, but a good way to get familiar with the pacing and timing of her links. Crouching like kick. Neutral light punch and then dragon punch. Another very basic trial, not much to say here really. The crouch and heavy punch forward light kick are done in quick succession. You can't do it too fast. It will always link no matter what, unless you do it too slow. Once the peachy connects, quickly do a quarter circle backwards kick and we're done. Trial 3 is going to teach you Athena's jump in timing. Make sure it becomes second nature because it will be very important later on. Jump in heavy kick, try to hit it later rather than sooner. Heavy punch, forward light kick in quick succession. And once the peachy connects, do an X quarter circle backwards kick. And when she lands, just do a standing heavy kick. Might take a few tries to get the timing of the last heavy kick just right. There's two things you need to be familiar with before attempting trial 4. The first thing you need is knowing when to do the forward light kick after the half circle forward punch. It's trial and error, but the general rule of thumb is to do it around the time when the glistening purple particles around the Tina start to disappear. The second thing is learning to link the forward light kick into super. You can practice this on the ground first. You start the half circle backwards, half circle backwards motion immediately after you pressed forward light kick. Don't wait for it to connect. Use the forward you use for the forward light kick as starting point for the half circle backwards. It's not about speed here, but about precision. Don't rush it. And make sure that you press punch as soon as the forward light kick connects. 
Then, when you get both of these techniques down, simply combine the two together, and there you have it. So, get close to the dummy, half circle forward plus punch, opponent goes flying, forward leg kick when purple particles start disappearing, immediately followed by half circle backwards, half circle backwards punch. Time it so that the half circle backward, half circle backward motion is done while she's traveling towards the opponent, but the punch is pressed when the forward leg kick makes contact. And there you have it. What you're gonna need to learn here before moving on to the actual trial is Athena's Dragon Punch Psycho Ball Attack Cancel. There's two main ways of doing this. Method 1. Do a regular Dragon Punch quickly followed by a quarter circle backwards punch. So, 6, 2, 3, punch, 2, 1, 4, punch. Method 2. Forward, down forward, down and back to forward plus punch and then half circle backwards punch so six three two six plus punch three two one four punch I would suggest using method one for beginners because method two requires you to be quite familiar with the boundaries and range of motion of the stick you need to have a good feel for when exactly each micro switch gets activated Otherwise, you might run into problems such as accidentally activating the Tina's half circle backwards, half circle backwards super. There's a few other ways of doing this, but I'm gonna go over them in the follow up episode where I'll be discussing advanced combo techniques for a Tina that are not present in the trials. So, see which one of the two methods you prefer and practice until it becomes second nature. The idea behind cancels is that you input the second move before the animation of the first move finishes or in this case before she leaves the ground too much. The second thing you should learn before moving on is linking the crouch and light punch into the standing heavy kick. And there's a very small window of opportunity here. All you can do is practice until you get the timing. For links like these, you can mute your TV and just listen to the sound your push buttons are making. It's much easier to tap to a rhythm than to think about when you're gonna press the button. So, crouch and light punch, standing heavy kick, and now comes the part we talked about before. The Dragon Punch Psycho Ball Cancel. Pick one of the two methods and go for it. Dragon Punch canceled into X Psycho Ball. Now the X Psycho Ball will send the opponent in the air and this will give you plenty of time to recollect your thoughts and do a forward light kick. Do it around the time when the second hit of the X Psycho Ball hits. After that, press forward light kick followed by an X quarter circle backwards kick in the air. And once you see Athena going in a standing up animation, simply do a forward light kick canceled into super. Again, use the forward you use for the forward light kick as a starting point for the half circle backwards, half circle backwards. Do it in a controlled fluid motion and don't rush it. You'd be surprised how slowly this can be done. It's precision over speed. Before we get to the second part, I feel like I should say something about the right way to hold the stick. Do not, I repeat, do not hold the joystick the way I'm holding it, unless that is what feels natural to you. It's very uncomfortable and it makes everything hard and awkward to execute. The only reason why I'm holding the joystick like a teacup is so that I'm not covering it with my palm and you can see the motions more clearly. I'm also riding the gate as much as I can so that you can see the full range of motion and make out what I'm doing on screen. There is no right or wrong way to hold a stick but chances are the teacup style is not the right choice for you. 
Also, there's nothing wrong with riding the gate if it helps you with the execution, but in the long run, it's a counterproductive habit that you should try to avoid. Trial 6. This trial introduces Athena's most important technique, the Psychosword Teleport Cancel. This is invaluable when it comes to juggles, and all of the major combos make use of it. What it does is, it cancels the airborne part of the Dragon Punch attack. So while the opponent is still in the air, she's already on the ground, ready to do a follow-up. Canceling Athena's Dragon Punch into Teleport is very easy. You don't have to do a Dragon Punch quickly, followed by a quarter circle forward kick. You simply go forward, down, down forward, forward plus punch. And as soon as you press the punch, you press kick. Basically, you do a Dragon Punch that ends in forward instead of down forward and just add a kick at the end. The game will register the quarter circle forward part of the Dragon Punch as inputs for the teleport. So, 6, 2, 3, 4, punch, immediately followed by a kick. After the Psycho Sword teleport cancel becomes second nature from both sides, we can move on to the actual trial. Jump heavy kick, heavy punch forward like kick in quick succession, while still in the air, cancel into quarter circle backwards heavy kick. And when the actual kick connects, cancel into quarter circle backwards light kick. This will activate the reflector, which will send the opponent in the air. Now catch him with the quarter circle backwards light punch. Opponent goes flying again. And now comes the part you practiced before. Dragon punch canceled into teleport. Opponent goes airborne one more time and catch him on his way down with yet another quarter circle backwards light punch. Opponent goes flying one last time, and now all there's left to do is catching him on his way down with the half circle backwards, half circle backwards, X punch. The trial requires you to do a lot of juggling, and when it comes to juggles in any fighting game, it's all about getting into the rhythm of things. Trial 7 could be tough for beginners, so you're gonna need a lot of patience for this one. So first we're gonna go over three things that need to become second nature before attempting the trial. The first obstacle you're probably gonna run into is the one frame link after the first cycle ball. After the jump and heavy kick, heavy punch cycle ball, you're gonna be presented with an extremely small window of opportunity to do the crouching heavy punch forward like kick. There's not much I can say here other than practice makes perfect. There's no way around it, but after a while you get a feel for it. You will subconsciously start noticing little visual and audio cues that will trigger you to press the button at the right time. But that's not something that can be taught. It has to become second nature by trial and error. If nothing comes out, you did it too fast. If it gets blocked, you did it too late. The second problem this trial presents you with is the hop forward like kick, quarter circle backwards kick. Slightly before Tina goes into a standing up animation, do a hop. The controls are not exactly one to one, it's a little delayed. So even though technically she can't move because the animation of the quarter circle backwards kick is still active, she will do a hop once the animation finishes. So you are buffering the hop. Keep in mind that this is all happening in fractions of a second. Bottom line is, you don't have to wait for her to be able to move again to do the hop. You can hop slightly before that and it will still register. And as soon as she hops, you gotta do the forward light kick. Wish I could tell you the hard part is over, but there's another tricky segment right after the forward light kick. And that's the timing of the quarter circle backwards kick. It's pretty strict as well. If you do it too fast, the ground portion of the kick will whiff. If you do it too late, it'll whiff as well. You gotta do it just right. 
Okay, well, after you get familiar with all these techniques, we can combine them together to form the trial. So, jump, heavy kick, heavy punch, quarter circle back with light punch. Now comes the one frame link pause you practiced before. Crouch and heavy punch, forward light kick in quick succession. Once the kick connects, do a quarter circle back with X kick in the air. And just before you see Athena go into a standing up animation, you do an upwards hop. The hop will not come out immediately, but it will come out automatically as soon as the animation of the quarter circle backwards heavy kick finishes. And since the hop is pre-buffered and waiting to come out on his own, that frees our hands to do the forward light kick as soon as she hops. And once the peach connects, you take a slight pause, not too short, not too long, and do the quarter circle backwards heavy kick. If you did it correctly, the ground portion of the quarter circle backwards kick will hit the dummy on his way down and send him airborne. Now you have to take a pause so that the animation of the quarter circle backwards kick fully finishes and catch him on his way down with a dragon punch. The pause here is deceivingly long. Make sure you don't start dragon punching too early or nothing will come out. Don't give up on this trial. I know it can be frustrating, but it teaches you a lot of very important techniques. When you complete this one, you'll be much more precise and comfortable with delicate maneuvers, and your timing will vastly improve, which translates to other trials and all fighting games in general, making you a much better player all around. If Trial 7 was the equivalent of a boring introduction to advanced physics class, Trial 8 is definitely trampoline time in PE. This is where the fun starts. After you master this trial, a whole new world of opportunities will open up, and you will understand how gracefully Athena can toy around with her adversaries, bouncing them around like a helpless little rubber Super Bowl. This is where versatility really shines. Okay, now this trial is going to introduce you to the hyperdrive mode, so I'm going to say a few words about that first. It's one of the most important mechanics in the game as far as combos go and it's very important that you get familiar with its nuances before moving on. Now what is the hyperdrive and how does it work? Okay, so the HD mode is activated by pressing light kick plus heavy punch, B plus C. And what it does is it puts you in a state where you can do as many cancels, X special moves and supers as you want at zero cost. No matter what you do, you won't use up any meter until HD mode is active. Unless you do a Neo Max move, which will drain the meter completely. So that's usually best saved for last as a combo finisher. So until the green bar at the bottom left of the screen reaches zero, you're free to get as creative as you want with your combos and unleash some of the most devastating maneuvers in the game. In addition, HD mode alters the properties of some moves, meaning you can now cancel into and from certain attacks that you couldn't cancel before. HD can be activated on its own, or as part of a combo. There's two main ways to activate HD during a combo and we're gonna go over them right now. For the most part they are interchangeable, they work for all characters and it all boils down to personal preference. I use them both depending on the situation. I call them manual and automatic HD cancels. First, let's talk about manual HD cancels. Let's say the trial reads like this, heavy punch, HD, heavy punch. So you press heavy punch immediately followed by HD. This will make your character flash yellow and dash towards the opponent. So after your character dashes, you press heavy punch again. So you manually had to input the move after the HD activation. The automatic mode on the other hand combines both the HD activation and the next attack into one input. So for the same combo, 
Heavy Punch, HD, Heavy Punch, you go. Heavy Punch, Slight Pause, HD. With the introduction of the Slight Pause, the HD input functions as both HD activation and Heavy Punch. So you get two birds with one stone. The basic concept is the same as the Max Mode Bypass technique from older KOF games. Just keep in mind that this method of automatic mode activation only works if the next move after the HD is a heavy punch, which is usually the case in most King of Fighters 13 trials. For this trial, we're gonna be using the automatic mode with a slight variation. Since here, we are canceling a light attack into HD, the slight pause is much shorter, but it's still there. Light attacks have very little recovery time, so the automatic HD activation would occur sooner. However, I do suggest you learn to add as long of a pause as you can before the HD activation no matter what attack you're using. Test the waters to see how much of a pause you can get away with. The implementation of the pause will give you that added split second of time to evaluate whether your attack connected or got blocked before committing to the hyperdrive mode. Going into hyperdrive after a blocked poke can be the difference between winning or losing, so every frame counts. Another technique you need to master before attempting this trial is the cycle ball canceled into max. This is done this is done by doing a half circle backwards punch forward punch. Practice on the ground till you get the timing right. After you get that, we can move on. So, crouching like kick, crouching like kick. These two are your hit confirms. Slight pause, an added bonus little hit confirm of sorts, and then HD. The two crouching light kicks will push the opponent away from you, while the HD activation will propel you towards him. So, while Athena's dashing forward, you can initiate the Dragon Punch canceled into teleport. The opponent will go airborne, and you find yourself on the opposite side. Now you need to catch him with another heavy Dragon Punch canceled into teleport, and repeat. Heavy Dragon Punch cancelled into Teleport. The switching sides might be a little confusing at first, but as long as you practice your Dragon Punch Teleport cancels on the ground from both sides and they became second nature, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Also, these juggles are very liberal with the timing. As long as you don't do the Dragon Punch way too early or way too late, it should cancel into Teleport every time and put the dummy in the ideal state for the follow-ups. Now, one problem you might run into here is this. The opponent gets flanked diagonally instead of vertically, which can be used for some combos not present in the trials, but we want to avoid this happening right now. So, the reason this is happening is simple. You didn't cancel the Dragon Punch into Teleport fast enough. The Dragon Punch hits multiple times and you let it hit twice before canceling into Teleport. Make sure that as soon as you press Punch, you follow it with a kick. So again, crouching light kick, crouching light kick, slight pause, HD, while Athena's traveling towards the opponent, do a dragon punch cancelled into teleport. Take a little pause, recollect your thoughts, another dragon punch teleport cancel, another pause, another dragon punch teleport cancel. And now comes the part we talked about before, the psycho ball cancelled into Neomax. Assuming you started doing the trial with your character facing right, the motion for this will be 4, 1, 2, 3, 6 plus punch, 4 plus punch. It's very important that you take a considerable pause before starting the half circle backwards motion. Your position will be sorta of ambiguous for a few frames, so if you do it too soon, the game will take you still on the dummy's left side and will register the half circle backwards punch, forward punch as a dragon punch. So just slow down Relax and take a pause before starting the half circle backwards motion. But don't do it too late either or the cycle ball will miss the target. This is one of those situations where you have to learn the right timing by trial and error. I could show you exactly when to start doing the motion, but we're talking about frames here. When this is happening in real time, you just need to feel when the time is right. Anyway, Dragon Punch, Teleport, Cancel, Pause, Half Circle Backwards, Heavy Punch, forward X punch. If you did it correctly, Athena will dash forward and connect with the opponent who just ricocheted off the cycle ball. 
The Psycho Ball Max Cancel can be done extremely slow. Just like with the Shining Crystal Bits, it's precision over speed. Once you get accustomed to the rhythm of Athena's juggles, you'll be doing the trial without even thinking about it. Trust me. The new technique introduced here is the Dragon Punch Crystal Bit Cancel. So we're going to start by practicing on the ground by doing a half circle backwards forward light punch. This will give us the Dragon Punch and then finish with a half circle backwards punch which will cancel the Dragon Punch into the Super. What we're looking for here is a tardy cancel. Meaning you don't cancel the Dragon Punch into the Super right away. If you do it too fast, Athena won't leave the ground enough and you're not going to be able to do the follow up. The technique I suggest you use for this is this. Doing the half circle backwards forward light punch in a swift motion. Do not think of it as an elliptical shape, but rather a circle cut in half by a sharp blade. Half circle backwards, cut straight diagonally to forward light punch. And hold forward for about half a second so that Athena leaves the ground and then use the forward as starting point for the half circle backwards punch. Once you feel confident enough, you can bypass the down forward part of the last half circle backwards if you want. So, half circle backwards forward plus punch, neutral, quarter circle backwards punch instead of half circle backwards punch. You can kind of just flick it. So practice till it becomes second nature. Now we're gonna be working on catching the dummy on its way down with another Dragon Punch Crystal Bit Cancel. Once Athena lands, you need to take a slight pause before trying to initiate the motion for the second Dragon Punch Crystal Bit Cancel. If you do it too early, the game will not register the half circle backwards forward motion and all you're gonna get is a light punch. Test the waters for yourself till you get the timing down. Again, half circle backwards, forward light punch, half second pause, and finish with a half circle backwards punch. Touch the ground, pause, and then do another half circle backwards forward light punch, half second pause, and finish with a half circle backwards punch. Practice until it gets in your blood. Now we can start the actual trial. Jump heavy kick, standing heavy kick, slight pause, HD, immediately followed by a half circle backwards forward light punch, wait for Athena to reach the right height, finish with half circle backwards punch, and repeat, half circle backwards forward light punch, pause, half circle backwards punch. And now we're gonna be adding a light dragon punch cancelled into teleport. This will send the opponent sky high, and as soon as the game will allow you to, do a hop followed by a forward light kick. This shouldn't be a problem if you completed trial 7, since the timing here is much less strict. Once the peachy connects, do a quarter circle backwards heavy kick in the air. After the animation fully finishes, do a half circle backwards, half circle backwards punch. Now, all there's left to do is cancel the super into the Neo Max for the grand finale. In this case, you don't want to cancel into Neo Max too early or it'll whiff. Wait till the super actually connects and then start the half circle backwards forward X punch. Here we are, 
The last trial. This one is an amalgamation of a lot of techniques that you learned in previous trials and it will test all your skills. No new techniques are introduced here, so how about we just get it started right away. The first part is a throw back to trial 7. Jump in heavy punch, stand in heavy punch, quarter circle backwards light punch. After the cycle ball, there's a one frame link. In this case, we're going to be using the manual HD activation. Crouch and heavy punch, immediately followed by HD, immediately followed by heavy punch, immediately followed by forward light kick. Now there's a little cheat you could do to simplify things. Crouch and heavy punch, HD, HD, forward HD. With this, you only have to remember one input instead of having to quickly switch between heavy punch, HD, heavy punch, forward light kick. The reason this works is you're tricking the game into thinking you're pressing the right button because you're already in HD mode and heavy attacks take precedence over light ones. So the light kick part of the HD gets ignored, leaving only the heavy punch. And the command move forward light kick takes precedence over heavy attacks. So the HP part of the forward HD gets ignored. Use this trick until you get comfortable enough to do the actual inputs the game asks you to do. Again, jump heavy punch, stand in heavy punch, quarter circle backwards light punch, one frame link pause, crouch and heavy punch, immediately followed by HD, HD, forward HD. If you did it correctly, Athena will be doing the peachy while glowing yellow. And now, we're gonna have a throwback from trial 7. As soon as the forward light kick connects, cancel into quarter circle backwards heavy kick in the air, and cancel the ground portion of the attack into quarter circle backwards kick. Do it sooner rather than later. This will ensure the dummy will get sent higher so you'll be able to take more time to recollect your thoughts for the follow-ups. So, catch him with the quarter circle backwards light punch. This will send him flying again. And now catch him with a heavy dragon punch cancelled into quarter circle forward light kick. And repeat. Quarter circle backwards light punch. Heavy dragon punch cancelled into quarter circle forward light kick. And now a throw back to trial 9. Quarter circle backwards light punch. Opponent goes airborne. Now remember what you've learned in trial 9 and do a half circle backwards forward punch. Linger on forward till Athena reaches some height and finish with half circle backwards punch. This will activate the crystal bits. When the animation of the super finishes and she starts her descent, do another half circle backwards half circle backwards punch. Time it so that the half circle backwards half circle backwards part is done while she's still in the air but the punch connects around the time she actually touches the ground. This will initiate another super, and after the super makes contact, do the half circle backwards forward X punch, which will cancel the super into the Neo Max. Make sure you don't do the Neo Max as soon as the super connects, or it will whiff. You need to wait about half a second. Congratulations, you're done. Alright guys, this is going to be it for today. Make sure you keep an eye out for the follow-up episode in which I'll be discussing advanced techniques that are not present in the trials. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.